My name is Jade. I'm from DBK, downtown Brooklyn, YBC. <laughs> right? And this experience, it just, I feel like it just taught me like other people's perspectives on like life, basically. Just life. Thank you. Um, in this activity, you guys have each, everybody has a card with their name on it. You're going to find your card and then open it up. Somebody might have one that has milk on it. They need to find the cookie, right? The milk and cookie go together. Who got a SpongeBob? First impression is a six out of ten. No television. Um, can't can't eat all the food from outside, so I can't get no pizza. I want some pizza right now. Fernando Tenio, I'm a division director with the Bronx uh, YBCs. Well, I think it's an incredible experience when you can take 12 students from different programs, bring them together uh, for the first time, uh, meet each other for the first time. I think going from anxious and maybe scared to um, and taking them through a process where they get to know each other slowly and begin to learn a little bit about each other, start to trust each other, start to, to learn what they're being asked to do. It's an incredible experience to see them sort of develop in a very short period of time. We are going to be talking a little bit about the idea of leadership within groups of leaders, because that's what all of you are. All of you here are a group of leaders. And like the Avengers, all superheroes in your own, right? But then at times must come together for the greater good. And so that's what the Youth Summit is, leaders getting together for the greater good. Um, I like playing video games. I am the second oldest child. I'm from Harlem, New York. Um, Carmelo, is my, is, Carmelo Anthony is my role model. I have arachnophobia. I don't like opening up to people. I have two, so I'm a basketball player and I have a fear of holes, like small, tiny holes. Mm -hmm. To take this chance to, to learn and to grow, I think that's, that's what happens when you, when you bring a group together. There's a collective spirit that develops amongst the 12 of them that if your voice says, I think I can do this, gets resonated 12 times to, we think we can do this, I think that's what's transforming about this experience is that they've met other people who, who have been in, this, in maybe similar experiences and maybe have had some self-doubts and to help them chip away at those self-doubts and start to believe that they can lead and that they can be uh, agents of change in their communities and schools and programs, that's the magic. It's been a great weekend for these young people. They've learned a little bit about themselves. They've made new friends. They're really starting to believe that uh, come April 17th, they're going to be able to, to host a youth summit and excite a group of, of, of young people throughout the agency. A dangerous virus is spreading rapidly in China and U.S. officials are very worried that it could come here. Now to growing concerns about the deadly coronavirus officially hitting the U.S. We have a new name for the coronavirus. The World Health Organization has officially called it COVID-19. We're back from a very long pandemic process. We have been doing youth summits for um, 
nine consecutive years. Um, and on our 10th, we were interrupted by the pandemic, actually right in the middle of this process. So we have had a wonderful group of young people that were ready to prepare and create a day for youth to connect with one another. And they uh, were interrupted by the pandemic. Now we're back to do it all again, kind of bring everybody back together. And this is actually our agency's first really uh, program-wide, agency-wide event. Think about the phrases that we've talked about in the past, right? So 2019's Youth Summit was, when you're age, tell your story. That was their whole deal, because they felt like the, in, the message that was coming across on the day of the Youth Summit was people were sharing their story, and they were owning this history that they had and the growth that came from it. So that was like their whole thing. Similar to what you're doing, right? Because you're all telling stories about growth and change on the day of the Youth Summit. It's in, it's in your opening, right, James? Like you say, you and Eileen both say something to the effect of, we're here to tell stories about growth and change to inspire connection with young people. So that's what we want, is something that is going to deliver that message to the audience that you're trying to reach. We started with them a week ago in a meeting where they were introduced to me for the first time and had to take a leap of faith to come on this journey with me and the other coaches to accomplish this task of putting on the Youth Summit. Many of them were nervous when I told them the task that they were gonna have to complete to tell stories to host the day. I saw scared faces, nervousness, anxiousness. My name is Chanel Paisley and I am from downtown Brooklyn, YABC. Well, basically, a lot of people from different youth organizations, they will be attending this event so that they will learn from their older peers about how to become better leaders. Hopefully take this as a way to pour themselves out to people the right way. I thought of something. Mm -hmm. Intergalactic leaders, path to reconnection. Okay. Oh, like we're, we got the whole space theme. So like intergalactic, we're leaders because it's like we're the leaders of this whole program. We're trying to bring everybody together. So if you think about it, the name of the game franchise, Intergalactic Leaders, this specific, like right now what we're specifically trying to do is reconnect with everybody. That was one of the big things we talked about. So path to reconnection. Because right now this retreat is our path. We're setting our path straight to the reconnection, which is the day. That's our final boss. My name is Marcus Williams, and I'm an alumni from Research and Service High School in Brooklyn, and I work for GSS, which stands for Good Shepherd Services. I feel it's important for young people like us because it helps us come together. Because if we were just meeting once a week, like we meet on Fridays once a week, we're not spending as much time with each other, and the bonds that we formed wouldn't have been formed. When I say intergalactic adventures, I want you to say path to reconnection. reconnection. All right. When I say intergalactic adventures, I want you to say path to reconnection. Intergalactic adventures. Path, path to reconnection. Intergalactic adventures. Path to reconnection. My name is uh, Manuel Caballero, but you can call me Manny, and I'm from Brooklyn, Watch Brooklyn Community High School. People will understand because they can relate to certain things that I've been through. Like, things that happened to me in the past and the way I wanted to change my life. I had this one person in my life that really changed my perspective on things and the way I view life. It just takes one person to really influence you in life. To change things that you've done in the past and push you on to go forward. Right. Seeing them rehearse today, now on our last uh, instructional session, it was a complete difference from where they were. They were confident, they were presenters, they were excited. I have every confidence that they will be able to perform on the day of. Today is the 10th annual Youth Summit. The Youth Summit is put together by you for you. Today we will come together and share stories about growth and change throughout, throughout our story. So we will be storytelling. We will be telling certain pieces of our lives and how it helped us to grow as people, whether if it was diversity or social media or letting go of friends, certain friends that weren't meant to stay for long. How art is a form of not only expression, but communication. 
sign in is on the left. You get your t-shirts, you'll sign up. Little big guy. Bring the 60s rolling pizza. Oh, yeah. You should see it. The generous uh, grant from Macy's has allowed us to have our two overnight retreats. Actually, they're, they're two night retreats here in the Union Basin. And a beautiful facility. They, they've paid for, it's paid for the, the event here. Uh, normally, we, we do it on a smaller scale. Because Macy's funding was so generous, we've been able to do it on this large scale that allows our, our students to, to be in this beautiful facility and uh, commune over the storytelling in a very special way. So we thank Macy's for the money our Good morning. Today is the 10th annual Youth Summit. Let's hear it for 10 incredible years of raising up youth voices and bringing people together from different GSS programs. So while we were doing all that work, another council was meeting. Please make some noise for the middle school council. What I've learned from Youth Summit is public speaking and leadership skills. Like we're sharing our stories with them, teaching them lessons about life, you know, people younger than us, and just hoping we can inspire them to do better because the next generation is now. And we have a Good Shepherd Services in the program. They help kids improve academically, and together we all improve and thrive. Good Shepherd also provides different activities like drones, art, DJ, and student council. Yes. Now moving on to our youth council journey, it has been a great learning experience for all of us. It has helped us discover a lot of new things about ourselves. For example, I know a lot of us here struggle with being nervous and shy. And I think the youth council has helped me and my partners improve our public speaking. Yes. Over the years, Youth Summit has changed from community service to social justice activism to the storytelling event that it is today. So why storytelling? Stories are the way that we connect as people. We share a common culture through stories. Little Red Riding Hood, Romeo and Juliet, Lord of the Rings, Lion King, Harry Potter. I think stories speak to us as individuals. It speaks to very emotional and, for some of our young people, traumatic feelings. Uh, we may not know every detail about the stories, but through sharing these stories, we can see the values, norms, and ideals of our community. The council has named us all intergalactic adventurers. The game we're playing today is the path to reconnection. And that's today's mission. To listen to stories, tell our own, and reconnect as a community again. I'm so proud of the work that young people have done to make this event a success. Once again, give them a round of applause. It's my turn for me to start the show. What has burned will now blow when one breaks. One will now be whole and justice falls to falling down. I am very proud of my friend's performance. She exceeded all of my expectations. I thought she was going to stutter a bit because, of course, she's a, she's a nervous person, but she did amazing. I love her. I love her so much. It's a pretty good experience. It, it's nice to hear um, how other people, because there's a lot of people here, so hearing um, their stories from everybody's different point of view and how everyone could learn it from it, it's really cool because it's something you could learn from other people too. Like we had a couple people in the crowd that could relate to it, who had advice to it, who was proud of it, so it's a lot, it's a lot of supportive system here. Today is the culmination of waiting three years for the, the pa pandemic to recede. And so the young people that are here leading the day, the participants that are here, I think there's a tremendous amount of enthusiasm for, for what's to come. I mean, we, Good Shepherd talks about elevating youth voice, and this is an, a signature event to help express that and have our young people from different programs come together in community to validate how important their voices are. Uh, not only to Good Shepherd, but, but, but to the larger world around us. My biggest hope for the Youth Summit and the thing I'm most interested in seeing on that day is the connections that the young people build with the participants that arrive. Every year we are shocked to see 
the emotion that comes out of the participants that arrive on that day because they have been looking for connection for a very long time. And there's something unique that takes place whenever they see someone that's their age talking about an experience that they've gone through or something that they thought they were alone in uh, in realizing that they're not that it's maybe a more universal experience than they realize, and that they also have the strength to either overcome or grow uh, in a new way. Life's a puzzle. Okay, the next one basically is about making connections and building bonds. They call themselves family. They call themselves community. And that transformation happened, you know, from strangers in a room one day to here we are on the last day of the first retreat, and they are a really strong, cohesive unit. So I look me, so that's just me like, I'm just a bland person. Until I came to Urban Frontiers, met a new group of people. My coaches helped me get on the right path. I learned a new group, I leveled up, I smiled more. I realized life is a game, and I gotta be some cheap. So the first one, when people start playing games with you, that's when it's time to leave. And no matter, no matter the rainy days, there's always going to be a light. Sim